everyone. Welcome to a Hoops Journey. I'm your host, Brandon McFay. I'm here with my wife, Marjorie McFay. We're so excited to be here today. We could not wait for this episode to drop and so glad you could be here with us. So today we want to talk about the reason why we created this Hoops Journey. And uh, I feel like my wife could tell you more about, you know, going through the day to day as a mother, as a wife, and as uh, someone that supports, you know, an organization. So for, for me, I remember Brandon and I having a conversation and we're like, how can we go on a platform and go beyond what basketball looks like, right? Go beyond dribbling the basketball and being on the stage, that stage. So we wanted our community to be able to be heard. And um, a lot of times, like I, I know growing up watching basketball, I always saw the NBA players when they're getting drafted, maybe a clips of their story and how they you know, started. But what better way to capture it from a younger audience and, and follow you now? And as you're tuning in right now, you get to witness all of the stories from those who didn't get the opportunity to be on that stage, right? So, and it's beyond basketball for us because we're reaching out to entrepreneurs and all of the athletes and those who have other passions too beyond the basketball and incorporating basketball. That's the heart and soul. Um, you know, being a wife and seeing my husband, um, you know, he came from playing basketball and seeing him coaching and also, we have two sons who are in the basketball world, so they're young, right, under 10. So we want to capture that audience now and having you tune in to us to see all of our guests and, and see their story. So that's what Brandon and I wanted to do and give it back to the community. So, so for me, it was more so of an experience of going through this process in a physical, mental, and a spiritual confine. So uh, I graduated from you know, uh, college and then found myself trying to play professionally. Right. And then navigate that. I got injured and I started, I guess, like, uh, training, um, uh, a student athlete who needed, you know, needed help. He invited me to his travel basketball practice. And then when I talked to all the players individually, I found out that, there was an economic part to basketball. So once this economic part came up with, I, I saw how it affected the travel basketball market. So all the players that could afford to play travel basketball would pay, would play a lot more than the players that couldn't afford it. So I came up with a strategy to raise money, uh, to donate money and to donate my time and put, you know, put everybody in a kind of what I would say, an ecosystem that was fair. Right. So and it was only going to be predicated off of who works hard, uh, who gets better and what the team needs. And in creating that environment, some people thrived in that environment. Some people just chose to just leave and go. However, I had the experience through playing high school through playing middle school through playing in college of playing with players that had a high that come from a different economic background whether it was more fortunate than me and less fortunate than me so i just tried to create an environment where it can be conducive to the community of south florida produce college graduates, which is known to bring in big time tech companies, big time businesses to now come in and invest in South Florida. Right. And, and if you see, if you look at the grassroots platform as it is now, it has changed a lot. And I can truly say that from a social media standpoint, a marketing standpoint, I had a big influence on that. And we're yeah, here just today. helping them, you know, just helping you develop, uh, you know, the kids develop their own brand because it's like beyond, you know, you're identified by the team you may play for, right? So it's like, but what beyond that team, who are you, right? 
So I think Brandon, when he mentions the social media and the marketing standpoint is he, he spent a lot of time and resources with developing, you know, uh, the highlight tapes, right? So making sure that the parent and the, the child is, is their, their skills are being highlighted in a way where they can keep that forever, right? So how many of you right now can go back and look at how you used to play? But once you have it captured on tape and on recording, I think you can always go back and uh, study film, right? That's what you guys do all the time, study film. But um, I think that's what you, you pro- take pride in. As your wife, I see that through you so much every day you know you'll be ready to pick up the phone you know when a when a a parent has a question or a child needs an additional resource they're not sure which offer to accept and i see you you know just on the wife's lens um how passionate you have always been in making sure their brand is being represented and and also investing in themselves like we're investors too right with real estate we invest Um, with our real estate business within ourselves, but it's time for our community to reinvest in itself. And I think that's, you make a a great impact in that, in that way. So how many times have you seen big time athletes come back to your neighborhood and turn out to just lose everything, the finances, their brand? Uh, We can name a crazy amount of student athletes, but our our goal is to correct that, yeah. to give everybody equity, to give everybody balance, to make everybody profitable in this situation and make everybody winners. Because we're looking at the day-to-day people and the horror stories in our neighborhoods, right? Yeah, we are. We are. And it's like you could be successful one day, right? And the next day it's like it's gone. So what do you do next? If you only knew one thing, which is you know, what, what basketball or whatever sport you're in. So we're, we're diving deeper into, um, highlighting other areas. And, you know, we have a couple guests that's going to be coming on this show. That's going to share their stories. Right. Brandon. So he has a lot of, so we have Raekwon Gray, who's a, who played for the Florida Vipers. I met Raekwon Gray when, well, I saw him when he was in the fifth grade and, uh, I would say he came, he came from, you know, practically nothing to this and turned out to be this big time player. But in the process of it, you could go back to his film and see how we were giving him equity, how we helped him build the brand, how we helped him understand that the world is bigger than just basketball. And you could see him grow not only as a, you know, a a great six, eight, six, nine player going to the NBA, but you could see him grow as a man. You know, and I think all those things, he became a better son. He became a better brother. He became someone that was influential in the community. Um, that that means more to me than, you know, being drafted the number one pick because, you know, um, our careers can last. Let's say a guy like LeBron, who started out at 18 in the NBA and now is 40 years old. So he had a, a great career, but. Now, at 40 years old, he has a whole nother career, another 40 years that's almost promised to him. So we want to prepare guys for the next 40 years of their or the last 40 years of their life, the third quarter and the fourth quarter of life. (laughs) Right. So so that that's our that's our thing. The overtime now, if you eat healthy, you know. Might get to the overtime. Oh, Facebook! <laughs> I, I'm, I'm hearing that Facebook is uh, guys are coming out with a lot of uh, uh, what are they fighting diseases and stuff? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That's on another health topic. We'll have somebody yeah. on the show to discuss that. So I know you guys are tuned in, but just download because you don't want to miss this. I want you guys to be able to see all of these guests that we have lined up for you, Brandon. You can go ahead and tell them. Um, some of the ones that uh, you have coming up. So we're planning to have Dusty May on. And Dusty May is the head coach for FAU. I think he made history last year by taking a rather unknown college to a Final Four. Yeah. Uh, we'll have Raekwon Gray on. Raekwon Gray was the 58th uh, NBA drafted player. Um for and the Brooklyn, ES, Nets, right? Brooklyn Nets, Brooklyn Nets, and then Nets. we'll have yeah. Caleb Wilson on, who's a top 100 kid. He's ranked currently ranked fourth in the country, 
and uh and there's a star star it has uh, offers from Kentucky Duke. North Carolina, Florida State. We'll have Larry Johnson on. Larry Johnson is a big time player, but I think Larry Johnson. The reason I want him on is to show how student athletes can market themselves individually. He's like the the groundbreaking student athlete that can do it all. But how? Like how did he get there? Like I'm interested to find so, out how so, he got there and watch his journey. So make sure you guys download and subscribe so you guys don't miss that episode now. Because I want to know. Because if Brady Brady's watching, I want him to start studying now, right? Start doing your homework now. Because if you want to get to the top levels like these guys, you got to know what it takes for real, right? Most definitely. All right, so if I don't know how to find you, how can I find the podcast? I, I know a lot of people are going to be asking. Now I want to tell them where to go. So it'll be very easily. It's a, it will be on Apple uh, Music. It'll be on Spotify. It'll be on YouTube. You can also follow me on Instagram at, at FL Vipers, on Twitter at FL Vipers, and on YouTube at Florida Vipers. All right. And uh, tell somebody, too, now. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Yeah. <laughs> tell a friend to tell a friend. <laughs> this would definitely help you improve your overall IQ of basketball, but your understanding of the business, and it'll give you a more broader picture of all the job opportunities out there for basketball, not just the NBA, yeah. but Gives you an insight, a, a deeper insight, a, a, a more transparent and, and a realistic, right? Realistic insight because we, we want to get that that raw data, right? And that's kind of what we're going to give to you guys. You're actually seeing um, what it takes and um, just, just know that every week there's going to be an episode that is going to be dropped and make sure you don't miss that every week right brandon we most definitely and you'll yeah. definitely and we'll talk about and go over the economic impact of all these things that are occurring in the basketball world i'm excited yeah we and if you guys it. have anything you want to talk about and you have any guests special guests you would want to see make sure you you know engage with us we want to hear from you too um you know this is a family this is a culture we're growing and we want you guys involved just as much that we're putting the content with these influential guests out here for you. So let us know. And you, Brandon just told you how to contact us. And um, yeah. Drop Brandon a comment. Said, Drop yeah. a comment. Ask me anything. Or I'll respond guests. back. Yeah. Or the guests. We'll make sure they get back to you. So I'm excited though, Vic. So our first guest will be Dusty May, FAU coach. Final four, oh and he gives a real insight on what he's looking for in student-athletes. So for all you younger student-athletes, guess what? He's putting you up on game. Yeah, We're going to be too, there. Man. We're going yeah. to his camps, clinics, build a relationship. Always have relationships. Yeah. South Florida, that's Boca Raton now. One of the wealthiest places in America. <laughs> <laughs> We're so excited for this launch and this podcast and just to be in front of you all um don't forget to subscribe you don't want to miss the first episode brandon and i are so beyond thrilled just to be able to do this for for everyone in our community so hit that subscribe button download the first episode you do not want to miss what dusty may has to say coach dusty may. all right let's improve <laughs> <laughs>